Hey there. Well, for the most part, people have equal rights in Western countries, especially countries such as the United States. There are virtually no demographics that have more legal rights than any other. Again, with very little exception. I mean, we can create new demographics and then demand rights based on those things, but are those really rights? Or are they something else? What so much activism has become over the past decade is not about rights at all. At least not in the traditional sense, like the people who think that we have rights given to us by our Creator. Instead, most of the activism is trying to dictate how people, especially straight white Christian males, think about other demographics than their own. Once the activists have the same rights as everyone else, they have to come up with new things to be oppressed over. You know, I mean, there are people who think that they're oppressed by someone's microaggressions. It's stupid sometimes. I mean, if you stop being an activist once your goals have been met, you must be a, a terrible, apathetic kind of person, right? If you look at this from a 90s kind of liberal perspective, all of this just seems absolutely absurd. It's like, this is what I fought for in the 90s? As I've said before, the golden rule is considered archaic and ignorant in these modern times. The golden rule meaning, you know, treat people the way you wish to be treated. And instead, we're supposed to treat people the way they want to be treated, and analyzed, and categorized as, and viewed as. And unless we change our evil ways in that regard, and look at people through sort of a scholarly sort of lens of power, privilege, and oppression, often through sort of a neo-neo-Marxist lens, then we're something that ends in istrophobic, and we deserve no place in the common narrative, and really deserve no livelihood at all. If someone simply believes in biology and its effects on society, they're a bigot for numerous reasons. If someone thinks that some cultures are better at adapting to the realities of a particular country, they're something that ends in istrophobic. If someone believes in standards, roles, rules, values, and customs, they're something that ends in istrophobic. If someone wants to raise a traditional family, they're probably something that ends in istrophobic because it apparently promotes white supremacy and patriarchy. We're supposed to abandon those things and go with blank slate multiculturalism instead. That we should have no cultural biases whatsoever, except what is taught to us through mainstream media, social media, things that we're not supposed to question in any way. Otherwise, we're far-right, alt-right, a bigot, something that ends in istrophobic, or just a terrible human being in general. Regardless of our actual political opinions on anything, someone could be a die-hard communist, and if they think we should have standards, roles, rules, customs, and values, they'd still be called alt-right, far-right, a bigot, or something that ends in istrophobic. So basically, no more melting pot, no more assimilation, no more adopting hardly anything from the country you've moved to, but pure blank slate multiculturalism, as if that's even possible. It's certainly not sustainable. But let's keep barreling towards that fictional reality anyway, right? As long as we can virtue signal about something, it's all good, right? It's very 1984. Don't believe your eyes and your ears, everyone. They're lying to you.